Friends, after many requests, we're finally doing it. I cover horror games of all types on this channel, but we tend to focus on indie horror games. Most of these horror games can range from 20 minutes to even two hours in some cases. Because of that, I've had people ask me, Big Gaming, how are you going to showcase horror games that are only around five minutes? We want to see them, but that really can't be its own video, right? Needless to say, I took y'all's advice. I'm going to be following in the footsteps of many YouTubers before me and showcase three mystery horror games in one video. However, we gotta put our own spin on things. Horror fans, scare junkies, and people that love things that go bump in the night. In front of us, we have three closed doors. And right now, we have no idea what's behind them. So join me, and let's open door number one together. So this first horror game is called The Touch. I didn't really read the description too much. I just saw that people enjoyed it. I saw it was like three to five minutes and thought, perfect game for door number one. Here we go. This is free on itch.io if you're interested. Okay, get us right into it, not even a loading screen. There's a strange noise coming from the living room. I should go check it out. Okay. The bed sheets almost match the wallpaper. That's a very famous painting right there. My grandma has um it's not like this, but it's it's a it's an old Irish painting of a a farming couple praying over crops that I guess might be having a difficult time growing. Kind of makes me think that it was maybe around the time of the potato famine. Um so that that picture, that famous picture always makes me think of that. Okay, we got a kid's room here, very standard. Love the wallpaper. Um, and I like to wonder, uh, you know, what's going through the developers' heads when they pick certain, you know, textures to use for their games. I guess it's all part of a mood they're trying to set. So there is a sprint button here, okay. Let's go ahead and head down. I'm not sure what we heard. What? I could have sworn I turned off the TV before going to bed. It's an old CRT. Playing melee on this thing. Press E to turn off the TV. Did I just see the chair fall by itself? What's going on here? Interesting. Every room has completely different wallpaper. Hmm. I'm also a fan of... Uh, kitchen aesthetics that have, like, ingredients, food items, kitchen items in it. It, you know, may be cheesy to some, but I love it. I remember this restaurant I used to go to with my mom, um, called The Hen House. It was a breakfast place, and the whole interior was all, like, you know, breakfast foods and obviously lots of chickens. Those are good memories. Okay. Became a place called Southern Finest Barbecue, and now it's a bakery. Hello? I'm very suspicious. Is that window open? No. So there should be no one in here. Baby still okay? He's sleeping. Nothing outside. Hmm. Maybe I should go check out the chair itself. I didn't really do anything in the basement. Um. Maybe they wanted me to examine it or something like that. Let's go double check. So far, a very simple structure for a horror game. Things are immediately going wrong. I probably should have fixed the chair. I don't know why I walked all the way upstairs. Yeah. What's going on with this TV? I just turned it off and now it's back on? This is starting to freak me out. Uh, I'm more concerned with the... ...being we just saw that definitely shouldn't be in the home. What picture is this? Is this like a conquistador or something? No, it's just a dog barking, okay. Alright, enough. Wait, what? 
Oh my god, it's in the kids' room. How did that become a camera? Do we even have cameras in this house? I'm not sure what I just saw, but I have a terrible feeling. I need to make sure my baby is safe. We don't even have cameras in the house. <gasps> oh, okay. I need to grab my baby and leave immediately. There's something terribly wrong. Yes. Hello? Reminds me of the baby cam scene from Insidious. Um, can I leave now? Can I leave? What do you want with my child? Run? Oh! Oh! Get out! Get out! As you make your escape, a chilling realization washes over you. You've seen this sinister being before, lurking in the shadows of your darkest memory. It has been with you... Oh, she's crying. It has been with you since that sinister night when you stole the baby and killed its real mother. Silently observing, the creature now reveals itself, forcing you to face the darkness within. You found safety, but only temporarily. That's why it was pointing at the child. That's the child's real mother. Thank you for playing. Stay tuned for the Touch Chapter 2 coming soon. I will definitely be playing the, the, the Touch Chapter 2. Really cool stuff. Great small concept for a bite-sized horror game. Perfect. All right, guys. So that's behind door number one. Let's see what's behind door number two. Behind door number two, we have a game called Knock Knock Terror by Alex Latchman. Um, let's go ahead and check the options here, just in case. Hmm. I don't see a check. I think we'll just leave it on like this. Okay, that's fine. Let's play. Here we go. Knock Knock Terror. I don't know anything about this game either. Am I in bed? I'm thirsty. I should go get some water. And we all know that feeling. Mouth bone dry. Should I take my phone? Wow. Cool. So I can turn the lights on. Interesting. Very low ceiling. Um, not sure if I'm... An adult? Yeah, I should be an adult. I have a phone and everything. I'm going to turn the lights on in the house because... Damn, that's a big... T uh, well, no, it's not that big. It was a perspective kind of tricked me. Just a random lamp on a chair here. Closet. I'd like to explore all the rooms in these short horror games, even if it's not going to be applicable to the experience. It's still cool. Um, you know, you try to get into the mind of the developer with the mood that they're trying to set. And I like to see everything that they took time to put into the game. Oh, that's the fridge. So we just want some water. Left mouse to drink. Chugging that thing. That's enough water for tonight. Yeah, you don't want to... Take a leak in the middle of the night. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Can I open the door? Oh, I can go outside? So this is what our house looks like. Okay. Looks more like a facility. But that's okay. Alright, we're gonna turn the lights off before going to bed. Was that a knock at the door? I think I just heard someone knock on the front door. Okay.
<gasps> Wait a minute. It's Knock from Knock Knock Terror. The game. Don't see anyone on the side of the home. There's no one here. Or is there? I probably shouldn't have opened the door. I mean, we're right here. Return to bed. Let me check what's outside first. Hmm. I mean, it's not like anything could have snuck in, right? We were still at the entrance. So, I don't think anything would have... What was that? Jumped in our home. I thought I saw something. Okay. I wonder if all of those light switches are actually going to come into play. Go to bed. Okay. Slumber time. We dreaming? I don't hear anything. Heard that. Press F to toggle your, your flashlight. Okay. So we do have a flashlight. And the lights are not working. Great. Locate the circuit breaker and restore power. Do we have one? I didn't think there was a... Basement? It wouldn't be in the bathroom. Oh, we gotta go outside, I bet. Damn it. Ugh. That's where things always go wrong. Outdoor lights don't work either. Not sure why I even bothered trying them. Okay, so we got a fence to kind of keep us... Oh, let me close that door. What am I thinking? Almost left that open. So I don't know where the circuit breaker would be. Okay, clearly not there. It's got to be on the other side of the house somewhere. Mine's in my basement, so I didn't see a basement door on this house at all. Okay. Checking in the house to make sure nothing sneaks in. From somewhere. I don't like being out here, though. No, nothing in my room. Okay. Circuit breaker. Restored the power. Perfect. Can I go around this way? No, I can't. Alright, let's go back. Nothing in my room, right? I keep feeling like they're going to do that. But I did close the door. So some ethereal monstrosity should not be entering the premises. Okay, let's see. No, nothing there. I do think the lighting is really good in this game. You know, I've never made games, obviously, but... I feel like making the lighting work for games with... You know, simplistic visuals like this is kind of tough. Okay. Can we go to bed now? Good? Can we? Maybe not. Huh. Okay. Maybe I need to turn all the lights off first. Doo -doo. I mean, that would make sense. We don't want to waste energy. Okay, I have a feeling something's going to be here. Okay. All the lights are off. Hello. Can I get an amen? 
flashlight picked up? Wait. But I've had the flashlight! What are you talking about flashlight picked up? I've literally been using the flashlight the whole time! Ah! Oh, I didn't... I was literally just wandering around wondering why the game wasn't letting me go back to sleep. <laughs> okay. Well, that was certainly something. Um, I don't know what would have happened to make you think like you had to go check the front door again after the... power was fixed and you went back inside, but hey. I guess if they were just trying to get you with one jump scare at the end, uh, they certainly got me, so. Okay. That was Knock Knock Terror, but we still have one more door to open, guys. Let's see what's behind door number three. And the final game of today's video is Elevator. Uh, you know, this has a lot to live up to because we played a game called Elevated Dread a few months back, and that is still one of the most anxiety-ridden horror games I have ever played. Music. Okay, this is intense. Here we go. We're gonna play Elevator. Okay, right to it. All right. The brightest hallway ever conceived. Are we in an apartment complex? Or some sort of modern art exhibit? I'm not sure which. Okay, press E to interact. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what kind of a building we're supposed to be in. Maybe an apartment. Okay, where do we go? Down to floor one. I'm assuming we're leaving. Hmm. Interesting choice for floor and ceiling. Oh. Can I just not do this at all? Is this what the lobby typically looks like in this apartment complex? Maybe this is concierge. Okay. Hi. How you guys doing? Um, okay... Uh-huh. Okay! So this was just... There to give us the flashlight? This seems like more one of those, uh... Like one of those horror games that's... Just designed to freak you out. There's not really a story or... A purpose for anything in the game whatsoever. And that's okay. Let's see what they're going for, though. What are they building up to? That's the question with these types of experiences. We leave your apartment. Go downstairs. To hell. Can I get out of here? Okay. Just for them to give us a flashlight. On a dresser, surrounded by flesh and eyeballs. Okay, that's good. That's good. Can I go in here? No. I'm always wondering, like, how? Oh! What was the character trying to do? Okay. Can I not... I guess I'm supposed to go back. 
checking behind me like a nervous character in The Sopranos. All right, let's get out of here. Where are we going now? We're still heading down. Oh, okay. It's Billy. What do they got you doing? We just scooch by him then. Trying to put me in the upside down or the Silent Hill world. Ugh. Oh, we got the guy from Doom 3. Into the... What is this? You have nothing to do here? Uh, yeah. I kind of agree. I'm not really sure why we left our apartment in the first place. Or why any of this is happening. Or what our goal was. Oh well. At least they let us know we have nothing to do here. They got great handwriting, too. Okay. I'm assuming that's the Doom 3 guy. Okay, we're heading down. Hello? Can we get out of here? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I see. Yes. All right. Good. Okay. Very strange, like surreal and not really understanding the driving force behind the character. Even with short horror games, I feel like there needs to be some sort of a driving force, like we saw that with, um, The Touch, which is the first game we played. Um, interesting. Interesting game. I want to understand the motives, I, I, I want to understand where we were, and that's probably too much to ask, but, uh, it's just stuff I think about while playing horror games. Still, got me at the end, and if that was the goal, mission accomplished. Guys, please let me know what you thought of the first episode of Behind Closed Doors. I love you very much. Please be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.